Are you ready to learn fast? The less time you spend on typing, the more time you can spend on reading. This is something I discovered while browsing the super memo wiki pages. There's a vast amount of information out there on the information highway. Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. Before we get into the main video, if you have a moment, uh, can you just uh, smash the subscribe button? Thank you. We humans are visual beings. We like pictures and signs. We have lots of pictograms all around the world, right? Signs on buildings. Even when you go to the bathroom, you have a picture of a person and uh, so on. And mind maps are a great visual aid. They help us see connections. And one cool tool has support for mind maps uh, and it can create mind maps uh, based on your notes. And here you can see on the left hand side, you have some pancreatic regulation topic notes on that and then you see the mind map on the right hand side so you can create structures and you can basically solve the problem which many Anki users have and that is the big picture right you can't see the big picture because when you're creating flashcards you are focused on um, the small units right lots of small things make bigger things right everything is in the end really just a collection of small things so if you see here in Traverse in the bottom left corner, you can see there's also flashcards. Here you have a tool which is pretty cool. It basically lets you um, organize your information the way you want it. And um, you can uh, have a much more pleasant experience, have fun while doing it, makes it easy. And I think this is a really cool spin on it. And that's why I wanted to make this video for you. But the disclaimer, this video is not really sponsored. It's um, created now because I have access to a feature which I did not have first time I was creating a video on the topic. Uh, and uh, special thanks to Dominic, if you're watching, uh, for uh, giving me premium access so I can use the import feature, but it does cost $9 per month. So let's head on over to the demo part. So here on the website of Traverse, you can see um, it, uh, claims it's the Swiss army of learning. It's still early, uh, but uh, I, I think uh, what's built here is pretty cool. And as we talked about earlier, the notes and the mind map stuff, and there's a description. We're not gonna read that. We're just gonna head on, log in, and uh, I'll log in with my Google account. Bam, logged in. And you can see I already have a topic here. I'm learning about other educational topics. So you can see um, when you have imported something, uh, you, um, we'll get this split view here is uh something i've imported uh like just an article on the internet about 100 channels and i can add an icon here Let, let's add an icon i like that let's add a camera icon Bam. selfie and um this is not from my notes right so i've imported the article and then it uh, has created lots of um, sub pages if we go back to the top page here you can see they're listed here right in this case it's uh list of 100 educational youtubers right so i can drill down jump from the sub page and then it's going to reflect that here on the right hand side and yeah so this is just an example let's actually go and import something so i prepared um two articles here mainstream economics and let's hit yeah this this stuff here on the right hand side is a little bit annoying let's close that up and you can also disable uh the um, notifications and if you want your privacy you can put yourself to invisible yeah if you care about that stuff that's where you fix that let's uh, click on the import we'll add the web page and uh, paste that in you can see there are some other options we can get back to one or two of them but uh, let's for now upload this so yeah now you see the article which uh, is this one it's uh, imported here and then it's split uh, into uh, sub pages. So we can read, you can see here again, the sub pages and then the original article, I, lo I love that. So you remember where you got it from. One thing that we can check out is uh, importing uh, Anki Dex, which you can just upload this way, right? So it takes a moment for it to upload the uh, deck, but um, when you've imported it, it's gonna get all of the flashcards. So in this case, the mind map doesn't have any of the topics because Anki is uh, used for space repetition, right? So, but you're going to see all of the flashcards here and we can also just review them. Do not learn. If you do not understand one of the basics, uh, learn before you memorize, I think. Right. 
avoid lists. <laughs> um, no, okay, yeah. Uh, let's say too hard. Learn before you uh, memorize. I hope I can type it right. Memorize like this. Bam. Easy. Avoid um, sets. That's what they call it. But I would say lists or enumerations. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, too hard. Uh, combat uh, similar. No, combat. Uh, well, I'm not sure. Combat interference. Oh, th this is actually very interesting. Uh, I, I struggle with this sometimes, even with um, uh, r r memorizing names where you have people with uh, similar names or they look similar or and so on, or they have variations on wording. So let's say incorrect. Build. So yeah, you can enter the answer or you can just think. And then you get the emoji feedback, definitely like that. But this is nice that it's built in. So yeah, and uh, you can change your wallpaper here. Let's uh, have something more inspirational. Uh, combat interference with, bam. Build upon the basics. But let's look at something else. Uh, that's the um, PDF part. So it's not really truly PDF support. They're recommending using this um, page here, which works. We can do that. So let's upload this uh, PDF here and then click the edit, copy the text. Um, and then uh, let's paste it here and then let's fix the title. Let's see. So so that website just generated the text, right? And then you can click upload PDF. Again, it's not truly a PDF, but still, I think it's nice that uh, they have an example there showing you how you can uh, imp uh, go from a PDF and then get it into uh, Traverse. So yeah, so you could use this as a nice tool to just ensure you um, read through something, get from start to end or just skip, right? and then just go to the part you care about and then uh, maybe uh, drill down, right? Uh, what is the meaning of chapter 10? Like that, bam. And then, uh, and then some great thoughts. <laughs> yeah, so um, I think this is cool. You can uh, see the big picture. You can see connections. And uh, I'm definitely excited about the import feature. So wrapping up, um, why would you use Traverse? It has unique features with the mind map uh, stuff and uh, making it easier to connect things. And uh, it's mobile friendly. So that's nice. You can basically continue on the go and uh, it makes it more practical. And the splitting, um, I think it's better in the sense that uh, it's not, yeah, some of it is automated, but of course, uh, it's still, um, it still has a long way to go. And I hope uh, it gets improved. So I'll definitely be uh, checking in on the uh, Traverse uh, a couple of times per year and uh, hopefully also try to uh, incorporate it into my workflow as a super memo and Anki user. I, uh, yeah, I really miss, um, uh, at, at especially the big uh, context part. And yeah, so uh, I hope you um, check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think about the tool, if you have already used it, and uh, please like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.